Uh, my name is Nicholas Wold. Um, I'm a director of five companies that are all very closely related. Cornelison is one, which is a retail business primarily, but a branded retail business with a lot of private label products that are sold to the trade in general. I have a very businessy background. I went to the Harvard Business School, I worked for Procter & Gamble, I worked for McKinsey, the consulting firm, I worked for Boston Consulting Group, and I worked on my own as a strategy consultant. So I had a very strong business background in a CV sense, but I did not know the first thing about running a shop. We do supply a lot of names I think that uh, most people would know. A Damien Hurst much quieter than he was <laughs> three or four years ago, but incredibly energetic and exciting. We've actually got two or three national cartoonists who come in. Uh, the one I know best is Peter Brook from the Peter Brooks from the Times. I think his work is absolutely exceptional. We are considered to be an art shop. But the real strength of this business is that it is supplying artists, but it's actually supplying artisans. Do you remember when Prince, Ch Prince Charles's car was very badly damaged in a terrible incident on Regent Street in the student riots? The person who got the job of repairing the cosmetics on the car, like there's a thin gold line on the side, came here to get the bronze powder that he was going to use for part of that repair. We are a tiny little business and we contribute over a million pounds of tax. And I find that breathtaking. So small businesses are very, very important because we don't make a noise, do we, in Parliament? You know, we're not, we're not a problem in that sense. We don't have any power, political power. But actually, financially, we are very, very important. And the government is strict, although they talk about it, are hopelessly insensitive. Number one, have a really good sense of the customer types you're going to serve. So don't be all things to all people, be some things to some people. Don't be greedy, be very, very selective. That's number one. Number two, don't be in a hurry. The tipping point for us, I think, took 30 years. That may be <laughs> excessive <laughs> by today's standards, but I think that's realistic, actually. Um, but be patient. If you stick to that with that focus and you increase your specialization, the 30 years will fly by. <laughs> um, I think those are the two things. The third thing I feel very strongly about is hire the best people you can and hire the people you really enjoy and respect.